Could we really be missing something so important? There's another possible explanation. Maybe it's... It's the poison for sure, the yellow powder. What was it that killed Ogre? If it wasn't from Genocide Jill's attack, then what was it? There's no other possible cause. What killed Sakura? I can't think of anything other than the shot to her head. This one, it's this so one. So you're dead that I'm blaming me, huh? It's the second one. If there's one place I might find a clue, it would have to be written in there. What was it that if it wasn't from Jen, what was it? There's no other that killed Sa- I can't think of anything other than the shot to her head. No. What? Oh, it wasn't that Shoot. one? God dang it. What was it that killed Ogre? I guess the contradiction is then what, what was in the file. Then what was it? That it wasn't the shot to the head. There's no other possible cause. Because the Monokuma file doesn't exactly Sakura. say that that was the case, that she was following in blood. I can't think of anything other than the shot to- No, it's wrong! Huh. So much for According a clean sweep this round. File, Sakura had vomited blood. I think we can assume there's a chance this was related to her cause of death. I was a bit, I think, guess I was getting a bit too ahead of myself that the poison is obviously the reason why she, she vomited, but it hasn't even been brought up yet. And the only way to sort of bring it up is that it was uh, written in the Monokuma file. In fact, there was even a trace of blood left around her mouth. Well, I mean, maybe when she got hit with the bottles, she cut the inside of her mouth. But she was hit on the back of the head, right? If that's all it was, the file wouldn't have specified vomited blood. True. Not to mention, I didn't find any cuts inside her mouth. <laughs> of course, Kyoko checked. You even checked in there? God, you really are into dead bodies! No, I'm not into dead bodies. What I'm into is solving mysteries. But if there wasn't a cut or anything, then what made her vomit blood? Some sort of reaction within her body. Most likely, Sakura was poisoned. Man, Poisoned? Yep. That's right. This is the conclusion I've arrived at, and so there can be no mistake. Yeah, as much as you're smug about it, Byakuya, I, I, I can't help but not agree with you, because it is the case. <laughs> you're making me go all weak in the knees! Okay, calm down, Genocide Jack. She was poisoned? It isn't possible! Of course, Hina's the first to say it isn't possible. Is it really so hard to believe? Then let me explain exactly how the culprit was able to poison her. You can... explain it? Of course, if you don't mind. Everyone, quiet! Shut up and listen to Master! Holy shit, calm down. But you're the only one talking. Yeah, we were gonna listen regardless. The key to unlocking this mystery was hiding in the chem lab up on the fourth floor. Huh? Not in the rec room? Then I could have found it all along. You never would have, since you gave up on the search the moment you were barred from the crime scene. Well, yeah, good point. <laughs> There's a big shelving unit in the chem lab that houses a variety of mixtures and chemicals. And that's where I found this. Chem C9. Is that the poison? It's not an especially powerful poison, but it'll still kill you if you drink an entire bottle. But the specific properties don't matter. What does matter is where I found it. In the A shelf. Where'd you find it? A section. The shelf is divided up into three sections, A, B, and C. In section A, dietary supplements, in B, reagents, and in C, a variety of lethal chemicals. And that's where the poison came from? Section C? Well, that's the question, isn't it? The bottle of poison Biakuya had just showed it. I'm sure I know where he got it. It was on the same shelf as all the supplements. I'm positive so I got it. The poison was actually in section A, wasn't it? Huh? You just said that Section A was for supplements or whatever. 
Yeah, but it was put there. Strange, isn't it? Wrongly. Why would there be a bottle of poison mixed in with all those nutritional additives? Yeah, so? Why? Because the culprit switched it out. That's why. Wh what do you mean? I mean this. What? I couldn't believe my eyes. Briacoya put the po a bottle of poison to his lips. Ah, uh, did they actually switch what was inside of it? Huh? Master! We were so shocked at what we were seeing. All we could do is stand there and watch. But as if it were the most natural thing in the world, Briacoya was as calm as ever. Ugh, that tastes awful. Oh no! Master's in real trouble! You have to drink some water! You can't just swallow powder! It'll stick to your throat! Idiot! He just swallowed poison! We need to make him spit it out! The flavor certainly makes me want to spit it out. What's so high quality about this stuff? So, oh, I get what has happened, okay? So, someone switched out the protein powder with the poison powder. So that Sakura probably thought when she was filling up her drink that she was putting protein in it, but instead she put poison in it. Huh? What are you talking about? That's why he's so confident drinking out of the poison bottle because that's where the now, you know, protein powder is in. But how can they make sure that there's not a trace of poison, considering it's powder as well, left in that bottle, you know? I'm pretty sure you can't get every single grain of poison out of that bottle. And out of the other one as well, and how did they even switch it in the first place, you know? I'm talking about the protein, of course. Protein? They need to use a third bottle or just something else to switch it. Because you need to put the... You have both bottles full, right? You put one bottle into something to empty it, then you put the other one to put this, the powder into the empty one, and then you know what I mean, right? Can I see that bottle for a second? Uh, sure. Do whatever you like. C9. Kyoko took the bottle from Byakuya and scraped out a bit of the contents with one finger. She touched her finger to her tongue. This is... it's protein powder. Correct. That wasn't poison in the bottle, but harmless protein powder. Which makes one wonder, the poison that should have been in that bottle, where did it go? In the protein. The bottle of poison was actually filled with the protein powder. Which could mean that conversely, the poison must have been in... Could it be? Yep. Hangman's Gambit. The protein shake or drink. R, R T. Give me a T. T, 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 there you are, an E. I want an E, I feel like a cheerleader. And I want an N. Give me an N. There it is, the D. I want the D. Yeah, I actually said that. The I. There it is. The only one we need is the letter N. And there it is. Bam. Now I understand. The poison must have been poured into the protein can. If the protein's in the poison bottle, it seems only logical to assume the reverse is true, right? Yeah. Absolutely. The contents of each container were switched. So the protein was in the bottle of poison, and the poison was in the protein can. Once you accept that, it becomes obvious how the culprit was able to get Sakura to drink the poison. Yeah. Holy crap! All they had to do was hand her something there at the scene, and she was happy to drink the poison herself. But the only one that could actually give the drink to her would be Hina, right? And the only one that knows what kind of... The only one that, that Hina or Sakura trusts enough to give her something like that without actually poisoning yeah, it has to be Hina. Something at the scene? Oh, uh, la cup filled with water. A protein drink. I got it! You're saying they gave her a protein drink, right? A protein drink which actually contained a deadly poison. What? That's all it took to kill Sakura. That is the true cause of death. You know, I do remember Ogre saying that protein stuff was good for all kinds of aches and pains. 
So maybe she took it to try and help with the whole bleeding head wound thing. <laughs> but what I think was it offered was like to that. her instead was a bottle full of poison. And I already know exactly who swapped the mixtures. Oh, tell me, Biakia. For real? Who was it? Is he gonna say Hina? Evidence revealing who replaced the two materials was left in the chem lab for anyone to see. What? Really? The evidence that shows who switched them. It has to be... It must be what we found in front of the shelf. The footprints? I got it! The footprints left behind in front of the shelf. That's the evidence you're talking about, isn't it? But, uh, this just seems so incredibly sloppy. I visited the chem lab this morning, and there were definitely no footprints there at that point. Why were you there, though, Byakuya? They must have appeared around the time of the murder, which leaves no doubt that they're connected. What's more, the footprints were in front of Section A, where I found the bottle meant for the poison. The culprit must have gone to Section A to swap the poison and protein, leaving their footprints behind. But they didn't even notice that there was powder on the floor there or anything, and just like, yeah, I'm gonna leave proof right here. And given how clear the prints were, figuring out who they belong to will pose no problem. All right, you everybody. have to do is check everyone's footprints right now. Then we'll see who- Get out your shoes! It was me. It was Hina, I knew it! Oh, poor Hina. The footprints. They're mine. Oh, God. Uh, Hina? Uh. If you're all gonna find out anyway, I'd rather you hear it straight from me, you know? Then, Ogre's killer was- is it really? Yep. I did it. I killed Sakura. Dang. Just as I suspected. Is it really though? <laughs> like, I, I, this is weird, right? I was so confident about it before. Now that she actually said it and confirmed it, I'm like, is it really? I mean, it seems to really likely, yeah. The footprints were made by a pair of sneakers. There was no mistaking it. And the only people here who wear sneakers are... Kodo and... Uh, Hina? Sneakers, huh? The only people who are uh, wearing sneakers here are Makoto and Hina. I got it! Me and so Hina that's are why he asked ones. us. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, makes sense so now. Byakuya. It wasn't just... That explains why you... Yeah, it, it doesn't. It wasn't just that he was just asking anyone in the room. He just actually specifically had a specific reason behind it, right? Sneakers. He saw it was sneakers. Me and Hina are the only ones access. No, wearing sneakers. If it's not Makoto, then it has to be Hina. These footprints must be Makoto. Are they yours? No. Okay. Then let me see your shoes, and I'll confirm their size for myself. If the footprints didn't belong to Makoto, that left only one other possibility. Just Hina. Plus, Hina's been acting strange ever since the trial began. Yep. You were in an awful rush to get to the vote, weren't you? Yep. Rock the vote. This whole time, you've been focused on pinning the crime on someone else, haven't you? Poor Hina. I... I can't believe it. I want to find out her motives, but this... I still I feel that this is a little bit early to already confirm the killer, but... What about it can't maybe, you believe? Maybe there's a really long background story behind it? Well, it's just... The two of them were so close. That's likely exactly why it turned out this way. Because they were so close, Sakura didn't think twice about it when Hina handed her the concoction. Yep. Hina used that trust to kill her. The fact that Hina would do that, you know? Holy shit. She deceived the victim, and she tried to deceive all of us. I have to say, Hina, coming from you, this was a particularly nasty little scheme. I guess the reason why she did it is because ever since she found out, she I, I think she wouldn't have done it if she knew Sakura was the spy, but because it was revealed that Sakura was the spy, maybe she just thought like she couldn't trust Sakura anymore. That's why she did it. Hina, is it true? Did you really kill Sakura? And if you did, 
Why? Why would you do that? I found her. There in the rec room. She was hurt. Oh, this time is this not really gonna happen at Sakura said like you have to kill me. I want you to escape here. She asked me to bring her that protein drink. But when I went to get the powder from the chem lab, it just occurred to me all of a sudden. Now's my chance to kill her. That's what you thought, right? That's when you switched out the protein powder, and that's when you gave her the poisoned mixture. And then she downed it all at once. And and then hold it. I'm uh, not convinced. Ah, uh, see, there has to be more. You're not about to claim she wouldn't kill a close friend, are you? And the only person that it leaves is Byakuya, right? You still don't get it, do you? The game we're playing here isn't so kind. Honeyed words like friendship don't matter here. What matters is outwitting the opponent, defeating them. To you, yeah. Not a person alive would sacrifice themselves for another. In the end, we're all in it for ourselves. Most are, yeah. Just like how this girl sacrificed Sakura to save herself. I'm so conflicted. He not be out here. You say that, but I'm still not convinced. The fact that Kyoko is not convinced, you know, that means that there's really something wrong. She finds something wrong. <sighs> how many times do you plan to repeat yourself? Don't misunderstand me. I'm not saying it because of some misguided sentimentalism. But there's still that one unsolved mystery, and I'm not convinced. Are you talking about the locked room problem? Hina, if you really are the killer, explain it. How did you create that locked room? Well... Th that doesn't matter! Just because I'm guilty, that means I have to tell you everything? Uh, yeah, because if there are still some unsolved clues or whatever, that could mean that, you know, you thought you killed her but end up not killing her. Like, that happened with, with the two of us right now, right? Hero thought he killed her, but the more we started digging, digging within the clues that are still unsolved, it turns out that it wasn't Hero, and then it turns out that it was maybe Toko, and then it turned out it wasn't Toko. So we just gotta keep digging until every single clue that we found has, there's a a reason behind it. No, it doesn't. But the fact that you won't tell us concerns me. That too. Surely you're not... Do you honestly think Hina didn't actually kill her? There's a possibility. And if I do? Impossible. She switched out the mixtures. She's the culprit. There's no way you can doubt this. Are you sure about that? <laughs> this feels like Clash of the Titans. Kyoko versus Byakuya. Featuring Makoto. Even ignoring the fact that I don't want to believe it, it just doesn't fit. What doesn't fit? I mean, why would someone leave such a clear clue yeah. like a footprint? Uh, that's what I meant, like it was so sloppy. It's too obvious, too easy. He's right. It makes it look like you wanted people to suspect you. That, that was... Who put that powder there in the first place? Maybe Byakuya quickly put it there? I was just... I nervous! So... I, I didn't notice I'd left a footprint! You didn't notice? Yeah! That's just how it was! What can I do? Listen, Hina. Could you go into a bit more detail? Tell us more about when you switched the poison and the protein. We're gonna find something here. Uh, how come? That doesn't matter. Hina, please. I'd like to know too. F fine. Waste your time if you like. It's clear that Hina is the culprit. There's nobody else to suspect. Nobody else could have possibly done it. Go ahead, Hina. Start from the moment you arrived at the chem lab. W well... Right away, I went to Section C and got the poison. And is that when you spilled the powder in front of that part of the shelf? Yeah. When I opened the bottle, I dropped it like an idiot. Okay. I see. Okay, then. Go on. Mm. 
So then I moved to Section A and got the protein powder, and that's where I switched them. But the only the, the footsteps are from the outside towards the inside. Turn it was directly directly to Section A. There are no footsteps from Section C to Section A. Once I was done with that, I took the protein can that had the poison in it and left the room. But I accidentally put the bottle filled with protein powder back on the wrong shelf. Yeah. And because of that, everything I did got found out. And that's it. What? Huh. That story you just told. First you went to Section C to get the poison. Then moved to Section A to get the protein, the right? Way to, the way the footsteps tell the tour a story, right? Is that that person entered the room, went straight for Section A, and then out. It, the footsteps don't go from Section C to Section A. The footsteps are only in Section A. Not in C at all. Meaning you went from Section C to Section A. Do I have that correct? Y yeah. But if that's true... Did someone else put more powder over the footsteps in section C? Or yeah? Huh. Isn't that a little strange? Can you repeat that series of events one more time? What's wrong with you, Big Mac? You're being awfully pushy! It's the same thing no matter how many times you hear it. How long until you're satisfied? Until we know the truth. How long? Until we figure it out! Until I uncover the full truth of this case! Alright. Footprints in the powder, source of the powder. Huh. Are the footprints are source? First I went to section C. That's when I grabbed the poison. And you spilled some of the powder on the ground in front of the shelf. Yeah. When I grabbed the bottle, I dropped it. Okay, and then? I moved from Section C to Section A. Footprints. And that's where I switched the powders. Once I was done switching them, I put the bottle filled with the protein powder back in Section A. Then I took the bottle with the poison in it and left the chem lab. That's all there is to it. Honestly, that's enough. How much longer must we tolerate this? Like now he is the person that is so quickly to just, you know, pin the crime on uh, Hina. In the chem lab. Where were the footprints? And what direction were they facing? Those facts clearly contradict what Hina just told us. Exactly, First so it I is footprints in the powder. I the no. And he spilled some of the Yeah. Okay, I need some section C. Damn. No, that's wrong! You said you went to get the poison from Section C, and that's where you spilled the powder, right? Yeah, what about it? And after that, you said you moved from Section C to Section A to get the protein. But the footprints left at the scene were not moving from Section C to Section A. That contradicts what you just said. What? Then, maybe she moved in some weird direction on purpose to disguise her movements? No, that can't be it. Remember what Hina just said? I was just nervous, so I didn't notice I left the footprints. I... What the... Hina, what's the meaning of this? <laughs> Me, Byakuya, what's the meaning of this? Uh, um... Well... You lied to us. Plain and simple. If you look at the footprints, your movements in the chem lab are obvious. Huh. The powder had already been spilled when you came in, and you went straight to Section A. So you never went to Section C. Whatever you did there, it only involved Section A. Hmm. Oh, well, you see... Yeah, he is. I guess she's lying about that. What the? What the hell? What's going on here? Why is he so? And the footprints aren't the only problem with her account. Because it turns out that he's wrong. What? 
Before I explain that part, I'd like to submit some new evidence. What? You've been hiding out on us, Kyoko? New evidence? Impossible, there can't be. Are you sure? After all, you're the one that gave it to me. <laughs> I did? Get nervous, Byakuya? It was hidden inside the bottle of poison you gave me. Ah. I'm amazed you of all people would miss such a vital clue. A truly grave oversight. Just say it already! What is it you think you found? I found this. A piece of glass. But it's... it's white glass or you know... It had sunk to the bottom of the bottle. And the hidden clue was exposed, thanks to you ingesting the powder. I couldn't have solved the mystery without you. So, thank you for that. <laughs> you done goofed me, Akia. But, but, what is it? Oh, you still don't realize? Well then, Makoto, why don't you explain uh, it? I don't know where it's from, actually. Huh? Me? He's like, I trust you, Makoto. You can figure it out. Fine. If you really do know, explain the meaning of that shard of glass. The shard of light blue glass found in Kyoko's? Uh, uh Kyoko found in a bottle of poison. I think I remember now. I broke something. This- Oh, right, the rec room window! I got it! It's part of the window from the rec room door, right? The window? The window we broke to get in was light blue, just like that. So I think that must be it. You're it right. To be. It must be. Of course, that leads to another question. How did a shard of glass from the window get inside this bottle of poison? Because someone was hiding behind the door. What's so strange about that? It's a tiny hole. Suddenly the poison gets falls in. What? What's strange is that... According to what Hina told us... Where was it the bottle of poison should have been when I broke into the rec room? In section A. I got it! The bottle of poison was left on the shelf in the chem lab. That is what you said, right Hina? Uh, um... And yet, somehow a piece of glass from the rec room window made its way into the bottle. Everything Hina told us was a lie? Not a lie, someone just altered it, so it turns out to be a lie, but according to Hina, she thought it was the truth. In reality, that bottle of poison most definitely found its way to the rec room. It was there at least until the window got broken. In other words, when the locked room was unlocked. There's no other way to explain the presence of that glass in that bottle. And then, once the room was opened, the bottle somehow got moved back to the shelf in the chem lab. Byakuya, I guess? Meanwhile, the protein can we found at the crime scene was planted there. Because it was on top of the glass. So... Yeah... Byakuya framed Hina? That had to be after the locked room was opened. In other words, after Sakura died. Wait, uh, hold on. You're moving too fast. I'll grant you, the bottle of poison may well have been in the rec room when it was locked. But how can you say the protein can was put there after the room was unlocked? We already know she was given the protein can with the poison inside, right? If that can wasn't there when she died, how did she get poisoned? You're right. We do need to explain that. But before we do, there's something I'd like to confirm with everyone here. Huh? It has to do with the protein can. After Sakura's body was discovered, did anyone move it or trip over it or anything like that? What are you talking about? Is this some kind of loaded question? Not at all. Just answer to the best of your ability. Everyone's gonna say no. Well, no, not that I remember. Yeah, me either. Not me. Same here. Yeah, me either. Okay then, that settles it. That proves that the protein can found its way to the murder scene after the room was opened. Yep. Oh, come on! How can you say that? <laughs> How can you know what I don't know? 
Yeah, that, that really bothers him because he thinks he's the best at everything that he do and then when someone actually, you know, is something is better at him than something, it actually really annoys him, I feel. That's probably Byakuya's character, like his psyche, his his mind, his brain, I don't know. The reason she can say that is because there's evidence. There's proof that someone brought the protein can to the rec room after it was opened. It's a protein drink. It's gotta be that one. When it comes to that protein can, there's not a doubt in my mind. Yeah, has to be. Until the locked room was unlocked, it absolutely was not in there. So you're saying someone planted it there after we got the door open? No. No, that's impossible! It, it had to have been in there the whole time! It had to be! It was in there before the rec room was unlocked! No, that's wrong! Not, not, nah, Miyakiya. You remember how there was broken glass scattered all around the room, right? Of course! It came from the window you broke to get in. What about it? Well... Those pieces weren't just scattered around the protein can. He also found pieces underneath the can. What? <laughs> yes, what now are you Byakuya? And this proves it. Mr. Tagami. It shows that the can must have been put down on the floor after the window was broken. So it had to be after we got into the room. I... I see. So that's your explanation. Quickly, his mind and brain trying to think of something else that Kyoko, it could possibly be. Earlier, when you asked if anyone had moved the can or tripped over it, yep. If that were the case, that would explain the can being on top of the glass. So you asked everyone about it to eliminate that possibility right out of the gate. Yeah, because if you asked it beforehand and they don't need to know the reason for asking it, people are not just gonna say, "Oh yeah, yeah, that was me." Then why did you do it? I don't know, or like, why, why did it happen? You know, or like, what, what is the significance about about her ha asking that question? And that's made everything clear, hasn't it? As long as it was a locked room, it only contained the bottle of poison and not the protein can. But once the room was opened up, they were switched, and as a result, the protein can wound up in the rec room, and the bottle of poison returned to the chem lab. If that's all true, then why did Sakura drink the poison? I thought we all agreed she was tricked into drinking it because of the protein can. Maybe she doesn't trust her? No, that's not why. She wanted to die? I don't know. The only explanation is she drank it from its original bottle, knowing exactly what it was. Precisely. She was alone in a locked room. All she had was the poison. What other possibility is there? Huh. You're saying she drank it knowing what it was? Such a ridiculous fiction is... Exactly what happened. So that means Sakura just killed herself. What happens from here then? 